As a business owner, understanding different lease types is crucial for your commercial real estate transactions. It empowers you to make informed decisions that align with your goals and maximize the value of your properties. In this video, we'll focus on two common commercial leases, the gross lease or full service lease and the net lease. By gaining insights into these lease types, you'll be equipped to navigate the complexities of commercial leasing and make sound choices that will help grow your business. First, we have gross lease or full service lease. In a gross lease, the tenant's rent covers all property operating expenses, which can include property taxes, utilities, maintenance, and more. The landlord uses the tenant's rent to offset lease costs. Consequently, the base rent is typically higher, but is the only cost incurred by the tenant. Tenants often prefer this lease type as they are not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the building and that rent remains fixed, even if expenses fluctuate. This lease is commonly found in industrial, retail, and freestanding office properties. Second common type of lease is net lease. The net lease is a highly adjustable commercial real estate lease. The base rent for a net lease is lower than a gross lease, but the tenant also pays fixed operating expenses such as property taxes, insurance, and common area maintenance. In a single net lease, tenants pay a predetermined rent amount and a portion of the property tax, which is negotiated with the landlord. The landlord assumes responsibility for building expenses while the tenant directly covers utilities and other services. Next, double net leases. A double net lease is similar to a single net lease with the additional requirement for the tenant to contribute to property insurance in addition to property taxes. The landlord takes over the responsibility for maintaining the common areas while the tenant remains accountable for their own utilities and garbage services. Next, we have the triple net lease. The triple net lease includes property taxes, insurance, and common area maintenance, with the tenant responsible for paying some or all of these costs in addition to their base rent. It is widely used lease type in commercial real estate. While this lease structure is advantageous for landlords, it doesn't mean it lacks benefit for tenants. In fact, it grants tenants the opportunity to review the landlord's operating expenses and any savings will directly benefit the tenant. Absolute Triple Net Lease Lastly, let's dive into the Absolute Triple Net Lease, which takes the concept of the tenant responsibility to a whole new level. In this lease type, the tenant assumes all costs associated with the property, essentially taking sole ownership of the building. While this arrangement might make one question the value of purchasing a freestanding building outright, there are some advantages. As a tenant, you can virtually own a building without the need for a purchase. However, it's important to note in the event of catastrophes that damages the property, it will be solely responsible. It's worth mentioning that the absolute triple net lease is relatively uncommon in the realm of commercial real estate leases. In the dynamic world of real estate, knowledge of lease types is vital for informed decision making. However, managing accounting functions efficiently can be a significant challenge. By exploring the benefits of outsourcing, Businesses can streamline operations, enhance accuracy, and reduce costs. Outsourcing offers access to specialized expertise, ensuring compliance with accounting standards. Embracing this strategic approach empowers real estate companies to focus on their core competencies, driving growth, and maintaining a competitive edge in the industry.